evening. Here are some of the headlines we're tracking today, 23rd August 2022. This is tomorrow's news today. Nigeria must re-evaluate leadership selection process, says Peter Obi. Reps committee asked Nigerian Export Processing Zones Authority to refund 13.3 billion naira to government. ASU denies receiving 100 billion naira from government. FRC bans rotational number plate. A batcher's loot. Federal government as well as the U.S. agree on $23 million repatriation. In business, trapped funds, air transport workers raise alarm over looming job losses. Customs 2.29 trillion naira annual waivers surpass revenue by 71%. In tech, Truth Social to join Rumble's advertising platform. Google Wallet launches in South Africa as digital payments boom. On the foreign scene, Ukraine to mark Independence Day amid new strike fears. UN warns over Libya threats. Finally, in sport, Real Madrid rejected bids worth up to £90 million for Federico Valverde as they consider him non-transferable, according to reports. Ronaldo has Man United future despite Liverpool acts, says Ten Hag. Thank you so much for listening. Make sure you get details of this and many more now and tomorrow on our website, guardian.ng. And do ensure to pick up a copy of the Guardian newspaper from Newsstand tomorrow. Not to forget, you can also connect with us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, as well as YouTube at Guardian Nigeria. Have a good night and do stay safe.